Hello and welcome to DevOps Test Automation. Today we will see what test automation is and where test automation fits into the overall DevOps automation continuous integration, continuous delivery. We will also see various test automation frameworks that are available. In DevOps, we do talk about a lot of automation, using a lot of tools to automate the non-human steps that are part of your entire SDLC lifecycle. Automation can be achieved using various tools at different steps of your software development and delivery, like to create your build, to trigger your test cases, to deploy your build, to run various other automation scripts. Build tools like Maven, Ant, can help automate uh, your build creation. You can use tools like Puppet and Ansible that can automate the configuration management for your entire environment setup. Continuous integration tools like Jenkins and TeamCity can automate various steps of your delivery pipeline execution. Then there are tools like Octopus, Deploy, and Kubernetes that can automate the code deployment steps of your continuous deployment. Lastly, you have continuous monitoring tools like Nagios to automate the server monitoring. In other words, monitoring the different applications you have running on your server. Let's look at what DevOps test automation is. Similarly, where all the steps of your software development and delivery process can be automated, the testing that comes at the different stages of your software development, like your unit testing, your integration testing, performance testing, stress testing, penetration testing, can also be automated. These tests are done at different stages of your software development project, and test automation also includes continuous quality tools that uh, help manage and maintain the code quality aspects of software development tools that help you uh, automatically check the code coverage of your uh, software code and do automated code reviews for your software code. The importance of software testing and quality control cannot be stressed upon enough in an automated SDLC process. When the underlying code written does not meet certain code quality criteria, all the tools that you use for automation from your coding stage onward to your deployment stage could become a huge maintenance nightmare very quickly because you'll be struggling to correct your code, to fix your code, and automatically run the tools that help you do an automated build, automated testing, automated deployment. Because these tools are like triggers, uh, and once you, you run the trigger, if the underlying code does not meet a certain quality criteria, your automated code, your automated steps are still going to run every time and unfortunately fail or raise a lot of unnecessary issues because your underlying code doesn't meet a certain quality criteria. And very soon, you could be caught up in maintaining your automated pipeline and also trying to maintain and fix your code issues and things can get out of hand very quickly. Automated process workflow is a series or set of interconnected steps that run in a particular order to achieve the desired end results. If made run on a less than desirable quality code, the automated workflow will keep pushing the same code quality into the production environment, or worse, fail at each and every step of your automation workflow, requiring someone in the team to manually monitor the automated workflow thus completely negating the purpose of automation in the first place. There are different testing frameworks available in the market for various technologies that can be used at the different stages of the SDLC process. These frameworks allow you to write scripts or test scripts that can be written for every use case that you are deploying. Every functionality that you are writing the code for that has to be implemented in your software project. There are frameworks and tools that can automate all the test steps of your entire software project. These are some of the test automation frameworks available for unit testing. ASP unit for unit testing of ASP based websites and pages. API sanity checker for unit test generator for C. C++ libraries. Uh, this can also automatically generate reasonable input data for every API function. C unit for OS independent Windows, Linux, Mac, OS X, and uh, probably others. Uh, CPP unit for C++ set uh, by design to keep usage easy and allow it to work on embedded platforms. C++ is buried in macros, so the learning curve for a C programmer is minimal on this, and it is ported to Symbian and has a mocking support library, CPP UMock. X unit supports running tests concurrently. 
Macros are only used for test setup, not for test assertions. XUnit for testing native XML programs, individual XSLT templates, and Java programs that equal XML data. HTML unit for Java hit list browser emulators. JUnit for Java based project uh, unit testing. TestNG can include unit test, functional test, integration test, and can create even non functional tests like your load test, time test, unit testing framework for JavaScript and uh, Node.js. It works with uh, any unit testing framework and assertion libraries. Visual Studio is the unit testing framework that was first included in Visual Studio Team System in 2005 when it integrated with the ID, but was not available in the most used standard edition. From Visual Studio 2008, it is also available in the professional edition. Starting with Visual Studio Express 2013, it is included with Visual Studio Express editions. PHP unit, it produces XML, HTML reports with code coverage. Uh, PyTest, distributed testing tool for Python. A SQL unit for SQL statements and queries. And Spock is a testing and specification framework for Java and Groovy application. Uh, Spock supports specifications by example and BDD style testing as well. Then you have various system integration frameworks like your test ng. This can include unit test, functional test, integration test, uh, your Jasmine, which is a BDD framework independent, uh, easily integration with the Ruby projects and continuous builds, allows for both DOMless testing and asynchronous testing. You have JS Test Runner, which is a JUnit test runner that runs JavaScript tests. The goal of the JS Test Runner is to be able to test JavaScript code using an approach that test-driven programmers will feel comfortable with, particularly in the context of continuous integration. Then you have Quality Gate 1 Studio, which is a commercial freeware test framework for United Integration Testing that analyzes dependencies between test cases to flow that uh, data between them. It supports combinational testing, multi-threading, and time dependencies. You have T-SQL LT, which includes mocking frameworks, continuous integration support, and uses SQL Test SGY. You have Juxi, a library for unit testing SLT style sheets for Java. Uh, Moex unit works for both MATLAB and Octave and uses all style object oriented programming features and is compatible with MATLAB X unit test framework. It can also be used with Travis CI and shippable continuous integration services and integrates with MoCov to provide code coverage uh, reports either offline or through coveralls.io. Uh, Nmate is NUnit and part cover code generation and integration add-in for Microsoft Visual Studio 2005-2008. Then you have a few BDD frameworks behavior-driven testing. LibCBDD is block-based behavioral-driven development library that allows for very readable tests. Tests are written inside main functions, and this allows for great flexibility on how to run these tests. You have CGreen, which is unit testing framework, including strict and loose mocks, reflective runner discovering tests automatically, uh, suites, BDD style concept under test notation, test protected against exceptions, uh, natural language out, and extensible reporter learning mocks. Then you have Catch, which is header only, no external dependencies, auto registration, TDD, and BDD features. You have Igloo, which is BDD style unit testing in C, Easy B BDD testing in Groovy, Spock BDD with built in mocking and spy capabilities, HSpec, which is RSpec style BDD framework for Haskell that integrates with uh, QuickCheck and HUnit. You have uh, JSpec, which is highly readable BDD, 50 plus matchers, DOM framework, independent, async, Rhino, Node.js, support, and more. You have Chai, which is BDD uh, slash TDD assertion library for Node and the browser that can be delightfully paired with any JavaScript testing framework. 
Buster.js, which is BDD slash X unit assertion, expectation browser slash server, extendable with tools like linting and other QA measures, highly configurable, well documented, and actively adopted. A uh, PHP spec, which is a BDD style testing framework. Scale a test, which is scalable test framework, supports different styles of testing, TDD, BDD, and more. And you have XSpec, a behavior-driven development framework for XSLT and XQuery, and is based on the spec framework of RSpec, which is a BDD framework uh, for Ruby. These are a few mocking frameworks that can be used for different kinds of testings. You have Seagreen, which allows you to do unit testing framework, including strict and loose mocks, reflective runner discovering tests automatically, uh, suites, BDD style, concept under test notation, test protection against concepts, natural language out, extensible reporter, and learning mocks. You have uh, C Mocka, which is a test framework for C, which support uh, for mock objects. It's easy to use and set up. CMocka is a successor of CMockery, which was developed by Google, where it has been uh, unmaintained for quite some time. So CMocka was forked and will be maintained in the future. Then you have OpMock, which is stubbing and mocking framework for C and C++ based on code generation from headers. It can check call parameters, call sequence, and handle multiple implementations of a mock, and much more. Includes, as well, a small unit testing framework with JUnit compatible XML output, but works also with any unit testing framework. Then you have CXS tests, uses a C++ parser and code generator. Of course, it requires Python for testing registration and has a framework for generating mocks of global functions, but not for generating mocks of objects. Header-only mock object library and Eclipse plugin to create test doubles in a simple yet powerful way. It leverages the new C++11 language facilities while still being compatible with the C++03 and has a build-in support for Qt. Uh, EasyMock is a mock framework for Java. JMock is a mock framework for Java. JMockit is an open source framework. Tests can be easily written that will mock final class, static methods, constructors, and so on. There are no limitations. Mockito is a mock framework. PowerMock is an extension to both Mockito and EasyMock that allows mocking of static methods, constructors, final classes, and methods, provides uh, private methods, removal of static initializers. Then you have Enhanced PHP which is unit testing framework with mocks and stubs built in. It runs in the command line or gets HTML5, tap, or XML output via a web browser. Then we have a few continuous testing tools. Appium is a freely distributed open source mobile application UI testing framework that allows hybrid, native, and web app testing. It also supports automation testing on physical servers, emulators, and simulators. A big advantage that Appium offers is cross-platform app testing by using the single API for both Android and iOS platform test scripts. Because Appium uses vendor-provided automation frameworks, there is no need to additionally compile any Appium authored by the code framework as you are testing the app that is being shipped. Bamboo is a continuous integration server from Atlassian, the makers of Jira, Confluence, and Cloud. Bamboo ties automated tests, automated builds, and releases in a single workflow, and this helps in implementing continuous integration, deployment, and delivery all within Bamboo. Bamboo can help run tests in parallel batches as it supports up to 100 remote build agents, and this helps to keep the queue flowing and to provide quick feedback to developers. Cruise Control is a Java-based framework that helps implement a continuous build process and allowing performing continuous integration of software development process. CruiseControl.net, however, comprises of two executable components, uh, ccService.exe, which is the Windows service, and ccNet.exe, which is a console app included for testing purposes. As it is easier to debug a console application rather than a service, it is recommended to perform initial tests with ccnet.exe 
uh, and then to read the console output to understand the CC net exception and behavior. Then you have Cucumber, which is behavior-driven development, it is a uh, practice that tests systems rather than test code. Uh, Cucumber is a Groovy-based uh, test tool for BDD framework and is used to write and run automated acceptance tests in simple plain English that can be understood by your business analysts, by developers, and by testers. While Git is version control system, GitHub is a staging platform that lets developers edit and build upon each other's codes, share prototypes, and collaborate on projects. By sending a link to GitHub, clients can test drive the website in progress for functionality. Test Rail, a web-based test case management software uh, been integrated with GitHub, can provide developers, testers, and team leads to centrally manage and coordinate software testing efforts. Jenkins is an extensive automation server, is a continuous integration server that automatically involves creating and testing and continuous delivery application that can distribute, build, uh, test loads to multiple computers with different operating systems. This speeds up the integration process and the users can get a fresh build as required. Jenkins also helps in continuous delivery of applications by guiding the definition of build pipeline and integrating with the large number of technologies related to testing and deployment. Jenkins can be used as a simple CI server to build and test Android apps, to support the Git version control system, and to provide unit testing for other technologies using a host of plugins. JUnit is a simple unit and regression testing framework used by Java developers to write readable tests that increase programming speed and improve the quality of code. Uh, JUnit test framework can be easily integrated with Eclipse and or Maven and provides features such as your fixtures, test suites, JUnit classes, and test runners. JUnit has played a critical role in the development of test-driven development and it belongs to the family of unit testing frameworks, collectively called as XUnit, which was originated with Sunnit. Maven is a tool for automating build life cycles using Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Scala, and other languages. Automation ensures that for building a project, only a small set of commands need to be executed. Maven uses an XML file to explain the software project that is being built, along with its dependencies on required plugins, external, and components. The Apache Software Foundation hosts the Maven project. Selenium Automation Framework is a customized, open-source, portable software testing framework for web applications that has been developed using Selenium by using a scriptless test automation framework. Selenium reduces coding efforts, test cycle times, and related costs, which improves the test automation efficiency of apps developed on uh, .NET, AJAX, or Java J2EE. Selenium was developed by a team of developers and testers at ThoughtWorks. It was released under the Apache 2.0 license and can be downloaded and used without charge. Selenium IDE is a full-fledged integrated development environment for authoring tests and using a test domain-specific language to write tests in a number of popular programming languages like Java, C Sharp, Groovy, Perl, PHP, Python, and Ruby. It also is a record playback tool for authoring tests. TestNG is a testing framework that has been designed to cover multiple test categories such as end-to-end -end functionality integration and unit tests. Taking inspiration from JUnit and NUnit, TestNG has been built to provide some additional advanced new functionalities to the testing framework. These advanced functionalities provide a lot of benefits to both developers and testers. To be used properly, TestNG requires JDK 5 or higher installed on the machine. SonarCube provides the capability to not only show the health of an application, but also to highlight issues in uh, newly introduced with uh, a quality gate in place so you can fix the leak and therefore improve quality systematically. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, Click here.